If you have never looked at Siri shortcuts before, you need to. It is the solution to automate smart home apps together. So why not Google? Because some of the Chinese devices inside Mi Home app doesn't work with Google Home. But there are some instances that it will work with both. For example, the Xiaomi Fan S2. But there are also some instances like the Xiaomi TV 4S. It only works with Google Home, which makes Apple Siri a stronger ecosystem than Google. And you saw in my previous video, I controlled the Mi Home app and the Smart Life app together in one command. All right, let's go through the steps. Open up Mi Home app, go to Scenes. Here are some of the automation I've created, like switching off the lights and AC. So to add one, choose complete manually. So select a device that you wish to switch on or off and then save it. So to add it to Siri, just scroll all the way up, tap add to Siri and then choose, put in a shortcut name. And once you are done, it will appear on top of the list inside your Apple shortcuts. Now, this is where things get interesting. You want to add more shortcuts to the shortcuts. So it's like a combo hit. For example, Smart Life and Switchboard all together inside one shortcut. And it will execute all at once. Response time is average, sometimes slow, but at least you eliminate the need for one ecosystem. I mean, I totally understand it's hard to stick to one ecosystem because some of the products that we want are not available on our favorite ecosystem. For example, the SwitchBot bot. And the same thing for Smart Life, you can add it under the Smart tab, tab to run. So you have to create an automation here and then at the bottom, you can add it to Siri. Again, it will show up in the shortcuts on top of the list. So for SwitchBot, it's a bit different. You have to do it from the device setting itself and then you have to purchase a hub for this to enable cloud service. So under Siri shortcuts, you are able to choose the mode that you want it to work with Apple shortcuts. So here, put in a name and you will add it to Siri shortcuts. One of the shortcuts I run almost daily is Kids Bed Time. The first three is linked to Smart Life shortcuts and the last I have Akara light switches which is linked from Mi Home app to Apple HomeKit to Siri shortcuts. I find that it responds faster than Mi Home to Siri shortcuts. Okay, let me run the Kids Bed Time shortcut. I believe in serving the community, so I set up a group on Facebook. It's Comets. Over here, you can share your smart home journey, ask questions, discuss, and help others. So come, join me. Here's how to trigger an automation with NFC. I ordered this NFC stickers, which cost like $2.50 for five, and these are adhesive. First, create a personal automation. Select the trigger NFC. Scan the NFC sticker. Name it add a shortcut you've created. So for me, I've created a shortcut for getting my kids off the sofa. It's like the wind down effect. Next, disable us before running. And when my kids are done with dinner time, I'll just put my phone here. It detects the NFC and it triggers the wind down shortcut. Slowly, it will switch off everything, including the curtains and my living room goes into darkness. I want to elaborate that NFC stickers are a great alternative to expensive wireless battery operated switches and if you have kids like me, you don't want them to click on the switches, then this NFC is here, they see it, but they can't access it. All you need to do is tap your iPhone without opening an app. Today's video was sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore a new skill or things you are passionate about and get lost in creativity. They have topics on graphic design, music, illustration, and more. Today, I took the time to watch Sylvia Yang from Taiwan talk about expressive animation, combining Photoshop, Illustrator, and After Effects. I love that she took me step by step into the process, how to animate each layer of the character and bring it to life. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership so you can explore your creativity. Next, it makes total sense for you to turn off Wi-Fi when you leave the house. So under the automation tab inside shortcuts, when I leave address, type in the location here, set Wi-Fi off, turn Bluetooth off and turn on low power mode. So how you do that, go to plus, 
type in Wi-Fi. So here you can say turn Wi-Fi on or off. The same thing, you can choose a low power mode and then you can choose on or off. And every time you leave this address, it will prompt you to run the automation, but it will not run it for you automatically. And what about times you have guests over and they ask for your Wi-Fi password and you go like password, capital P, capital W, one, two, three, exclamation mark. So this is when you give them this QR code for them to scan it and it will connect them to the network automatically. So the steps for this is a bit long and I will indicate it in the description box below. And for us Singaporeans, we have to do a safe entry every time we enter a place. So there is a shortcut for it as well. So under the SingPass app, go to settings. And under Siri voice command, you are able to add it to Siri. So once you add the scan QR code to Siri, every time you launch the shortcut, it will bring up the scan function. So you are able to scan the QR code right away.